Alright, let's watch this YouTube video of me racing out at 2021 Havasu Havoc Grand Prix. You don't want to watch it? Alright, I want to watch it. Let's see what happens. Got a pretty good start, but that's only like 10 guys in front of me, so not a big problem for me because I'm so fast. What the crap? That ruined the whole race right there. Now I'm going to lose because somebody crashed in front of me. It's okay. We'll get it back. Um, yeah, see? Already going to pass that guy. All right. So now I'm in like 10th, 9th. Wait, how many guys are in front of me? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I'm in like 5th. Get him. Let's get first open X, first open A, not X. So I'd like to thank Wyatt for inviting me out here to go racing. Uh, he's racing in the Azop series. I'm a Moran guy, you know, so I wanted to try out one of these races in Arizona. And he showed up in Las Vegas and said, Are you coming? You coming racing? Only like a two hour drive away, let's go. So I decided I better just go. Do it. And in case you're wondering, yes, it was Friday night that he showed up in Las Vegas. And that's when I decided to actually go do the race. I always decide things last minute like this. It's a bad idea, I just plan ahead better. Luckily my bike was in tip top shape, ready to go. My body on the other hand was not in tip top shape much Mountain Dew and hot and spicy McChickens will slow you down quite a bit. Okay, so I saw the Lagoon Jump on the uh, Azop Facebook page, so I knew that the jump wasn't anything too crazy, but I didn't expect it to be as big as it was. Alright, so I never actually rode the course before I... Uh, they had practice laps, but I showed up late. I actually showed up after the race was supposed to start because I uh, forgot about the time change. So we got up at 5 a.m. and left the house at 6 a.m. and thought that we had enough time to get there. Forgot about the time change from Nevada to Arizona. And so we took our time, stopped at the gas station, stopped to eat breakfast. And then after an hour, we get to California and realize that, oh no, there's, there's a time change from Nevada to Arizona by an hour. So we're a whole hour late. Or actually the race was going to start like right as we drove up there. So we're going 90 miles an hour down these roads in California, catching air off of the hills on the crappy California highway. So after we caught air a few times, I decided to let Maddie drive so I could change it to my gear so I could be geared up and ready to go right when we get there. And we get there and they're like, oh, don't worry, we haven't even started the mini bike race. So we're like running an hour behind, so you're good. Okay, so I've already uh worn myself out at this point so that my arms are just completely clumped up and I can barely hold on to the bars. I don't understand why I do this to myself every race. I go too fast to the beginning and wear myself out too soon. But it's extra bad here. This GP for some reason, I think maybe the jumps made it hard on me. I should just stick to the desert
actually uh, doing pretty good still. I'm second open expert now. Oh, excuse me, open A. Because expert's not a thing. A's up. Um, yeah, same difference. So, second open expert. Caught up to some of the slower pro guys. And uh, already worn out after doing only one lap. So now on the second lap, I tell myself to go slow, take it easy, or you're going to end up ruining the race for yourself. So uh, I get up to the lagoon jump again for the second time, and uh, you know you have to push hard to actually jump this because it's pretty big, and the landing's pretty hard. You you wear your arms out, so you got to keep pushing, even though you don't want to. I think this is the lap where my hands started to go numb. I don't understand why it happens to me. My hands go numb way too quick. I've only been riding for maybe 20 minutes and my hands are both numb and they just get worse as the race goes on. I actually have to let go of the bars and shake them out a little bit to get the blood back flowing into them. It's annoying. Just 
pushing through it at this point. You can see my hand is not on the clutch at all. I'm just holding on to the bike. Just <laughs> holding on for dear life. So that Jeep took my shortcut, made me have to jump that jump, and now I'm extra tired. Dang Jeep. Let's see how I do over the lagoon jump for the fifth time in a row. And, uh, oh, yep, I got some energy. Push through the, the rhythm section there. Okay, now it's just chopped out. Ooh, a little sideways, definitely tired. But I made it, I didn't die. Get to a point where you you do a lap and you're just hoping that you see a white flag so you can tell yourself just to push hard for one more lap but still i'm not seeing the white flag i'm wondering how how long i've been riding has it been 50 minutes yet that's how long the race is supposed to be it feels like it's been three hours already keep getting past feeling sorry for myself because i'm just so fat and out of shape and uh Still no white flag, so I gotta take it easy for another lap so that I don't crash and hurt myself.
that just me needing to ride more? Or is there something I can do to my bike? Maybe softer grips? No, that wouldn't do it. Some flex bars? I don't know. It's not a two-stroke, so it's not like it's vibrating me to death. It just mostly my left hand goes numb really quickly during racing. slow trail ride at this point. Not much going on. I'm just kind of tired and uh, it's keeping me... Holy crap, I just got lapped. That was crazy. Now now I feel extra slow just by seeing that guy pass me. Okay, so now we're nine laps into this, and uh, I still didn't see a white flag, but I uh, I didn't let that get me down. I figured if I'm tired, so is everyone else, and so keep going. Quit complaining. times in a row, every single lap, didn't take the cheater line a single lap. So at least I'm proud enough to say that even though I felt tired, didn't feel like I did good during this race. I really didn't have too many issues. I didn't crash. A couple close calls where I got really sideways, but uh, was able to hold on tight and keep it going. So I guess I have to take that as a win. Wyatt, on the last lap, crashed pretty hard and he posted that uh, that video of him crashing on Facebook it looked really rough his arms were all banged up I, I don't think he broke anything but definitely ruined the race for him he was right behind me the whole race he was doing really good so I definitely have to keep practicing and uh, keep working out so I can keep up with Wyatt in the future another one in the books so I got 13th overall and fourth open a yeah that's right fourth open a uh, doesn't sound impressive when you find out there was only five open a riders so <laughs> I didn't get last anyways we'll see you next time <laughs> 